When we say it, we speak it. Point blank, please believe me, we mean it. Point blank, if you watch us, you see it. Point blank to the Lord Almighty, point blank. Alright. I wasn't born to be settled. If you don't want to watch it, we don't care, disappear We talk straight, no go round thing, we no fear God is we protect her own ear Why blunt to take over the atmosphere? We say, we speak it, point blank, please believe Welcome to Point Blank. Hi, I'm Lisa. I'm Erica. And today we're going to be talking about beauty. Yeah, so the question that needs to be asked um, is what is beauty? And is beauty the complete symmetry of the face? Is it body shape? Is it skin color? Um, is it looking pretty and dressing up according to societal rules, like societal rules? Or is beauty just being genuinely kind and compassionate? People say that beauty comes from the inside, but yet people still judge you based on how you look. Is it something that comes naturally and it's genetics, or is it something that you apply on your face? Right. So this is just what we're going to be talking about here. It's just beauty and standards. What does beauty mean to us? How we deal with insecurities and a little bit of everything. Exactly. Right? Right. So, um, what does beauty mean to you? Beauty to me means just, you know, working what your mama gave you <laughs> and what God gave you. Mm -hmm. Just being comfortable in your own skin and just being, you know, loving the way that God made you and just not wanting to change everything about it. For me, I think true beauty comes with like confidence when you're confident in yourself. Um, when you know who you are as a person and you know whether you like to dress up or you like to go natural it's up to you but I think you know every girl likes to get dressed up a little bit um, put on everybody's a little bit different but for me I love just having my hair done and my face um, put on and just a really pretty dress just makes me feel really beautiful and just feminine yeah, yeah. Um, for me, I think beauty is more than skin deep. I think it's what your soul looks like. Um, of course, I agree to that. Yeah, like there's there's certain go to outfits and things, and I love I, I, makeup. Yeah, I like I love makeup. I love putting on makeup. There's just something about doing it, and that you can express your personality through it. But I also can say that, like, I also feel very beautiful in the morning when I wake up and my face, I just, like, freshly wash my face and I put, like, my, you know, skin cream on my face and it just looks just refreshed mm -hmm. and, like, yeah, just like me. I also feel beautiful and I'm not afraid to go outside looking like that either. So... I think, yeah, and like you said, having that confidence in yourself mm -hmm. to um, not be afraid, like, if you have some blemishes or whatever, mm -hmm. like, your hair is sticking up a little bit, like, yeah. you know, doing yeah, some, exactly. like, a ponytail or, like, a headband or whatever you want to do just to, yeah, express yourself. When we're yeah. watching magazines. When we're looking at magazines or watching, you know, women on TV and they look perfect, um, a lot of it is not real. And if it is real, then they're very genetically lucky. Mm -hmm. um, but I think, like you said, it's definitely more than skin deep. I think when your personality shines through and your aura is bright, the beauty from inside does shine out. But also at the same time, how you take care of yourself, it's the whole package. <laughs> it's how you take care of yourself and you put yourself together to show your personality who you are as a person but also just everything from personality to like how you you know want to like what you want to show the world i mean people have different sides right like sometimes you feel most beautiful when you wake up and you're natural sometimes you want to put on you know a pretty party dress and do your hair and makeup and be all glam right i think it just beauty just comes from within whatever makes you feel beautiful is beauty yeah right i agree yeah definitely because i definitely feel like 
there was a time like just after like probably like first pregnancy um you know before having my daughter that I just didn't really feel like I don't know like I wasn't dressing up or doing anything and it was mm. definitely like I didn't have that confidence in myself and everything so it's yeah I don't know certain things can happen in your life too where you just don't feel like yourself or you just it's just hard to get back into that mode and I'm starting to get back into it now and be more like my old self and yeah just kind of take care of yourself a little bit more. yeah exactly. just put more effort and invest in yeah little yes. things yeah self-care well it's different because yeah. you have kids you, you put your kids first so it's not just all about you but also at the same time you got to make that me time whether it's five or ten minutes to like what makes you feel good you know is it having your lashes on is it having you know killer lipstick you know? right yeah or just like a hot dress like just little things like that like I love being a woman I love everything about being a woman except for maybe um you know that time of month yeah and maybe childbirth when i get there but everything else like what we get to play with you know it's so funny. makeup hair clothes like the whole everything is just so much fun and you almost get to take on like different personalities or different looks just depending on how you feel right like fashion and beauty it it's intertwined it comes hand in hand right yeah for sure, and I'm totally getting back into that whole space, headspace now. So yeah. it's nice. Um, so how would you say the standard of beauty has changed over the years as well? Yeah, I mean, definitely, I think now, back in the day, it's more like if you didn't, you know, if you weren't like a size zero, and you weren't tall and thin then like that's not really ideally beautiful right if you don't look like a supermodel but I think nowadays it's changed where a lot of girls are just embracing their curviness and it's okay to be curvy or thicker I think it just comes from self-confidence and you we see in ads before it used to only be supermodels or girls that were really thin and there's nothing wrong with being thin there's a lot of women who are just naturally thin okay. and um, yes they're still beautiful of course but also now there's ads you know that are um, including more women of color but also different shapes and sizes yeah. and we're seeing that and like that's how the standard of beauty has changed it's not your typical like you don't have to be 5'10 with blonde hair and blue eyes and a size zero to be beautiful you can be you know there the beauty comes in all shapes sizes and colors so yeah, yeah. there's so many different people and different mm -hmm. models and yeah yeah I mean I think it's so funny to me because things change and go around, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. Like, so back, like, in the Renaissance time, people being bigger, that was actually considered that you were more beautiful. And, um... Wasn't it considered that you were more capable of having, like, you were more fruitful, like, having more children, yeah. like, childbearing hips? Yes, childbearing right? hips and just... Probably too, it, it was a sign of wealth, right? Yes. Because you were able to eat, <laughs> right? So, um, yeah, it's just so funny, but I don't know about you I, if you think um, that we're kind of sometimes going to extremes in this time. Mm -hmm. Like, I think there was a problem with them having models that were way too skinny on the runway. Yeah. But then now they're. I feel like sometimes it's glorifying, you know, being obese. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I do. I do think there's just this kind of, oh, well. Extreme from one extreme yeah. to the other extreme. And I just think be healthy. Like, yeah. And that doesn't, to me, that doesn't mean like, there's yeah, no specific is, size no because our bodies are all made different um we carry weight in different areas right. like yeah some people are going to carry a bit more but i mean i think there's a healthy level to be at and if you're not like it just concerns me it's not like i feel that you need to be skinny because yeah. it's um yeah oh because trust me, I've, there's a lot of like women who are overweight who I think are gorgeous. and But there's also some women who 
they're not, I don't know, like, I just feel like there's this culture right now where it's kind of like, oh, just do what you want and how you feel, and it's yeah, like... Yeah, and I just wanted to talk about, like, okay, so healthy. back in the day, Marilyn Monroe was an icon. Right. And um, she wasn't, like, a size zero. She was curvier, mm -hmm. and, you know, she was... Like a size 14 or yeah, something. Yeah, she was idolized, and she was, you know, known for being beautiful. So, I mean, you can see how it's changed over the years, and I know especially now, like, when Victoria's Secret started having their fashion shows and all the models were like curvier and had some meat on them and that's what they're really known for right right so that kind of opened up a doorway as well and just to realize that th the reason why you know runway walls are so skinny is because when they draw out the sketch and when they make the clothes it's just the size that fits the models right that's why they have to be a certain size to fit the designs that the designer has cut right it's you know they're not think they make that silhouette, they draw it out, and usually it just, that's what it fits, it's usually they're right. small, right? Right, they're smaller framed people. Yeah, it's yes. definitely changed, but I mean, it's changed for the better, and I think now, like with just everything, there's not just one um, standard look that is defined as beauty. Beauty is, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right. and what you're looking for in beauty is different for everybody. What attracts you to one person, might not attract somebody else, but I think we can all agree that obviously a beautiful personality makes somebody so stunning. It doesn't matter what you look like, but you're just so stunning. Yeah. And a sense of humor just, yeah. Yes. It's yeah. even better, exactly. especially a sick sense of humor. Yes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Lordy. funny. Um, yeah. So we're just going to talk about insecurities. Right. Um, so... How do you, did you have any like big insecurities growing up? How did you deal with them? Well, when I was growing up, so ironically of what we were just talking about, um, I was really skinny and, but I ate like, <laughs> I ate so much, Yeah. but I just played a lot of sports and I had a, a fast metabolism and there were lots of people at school, like in junior high, like I hated junior high, um, because they would be like, are you anorexic? Do you eat? Blah, 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 blah. Like, and just, just mean. So yes, like people do get shamed for being too skinny too. Um, Which is crazy. It's so crazy. But, you know? But it's like, I wasn't unhealthy. And there were actually people who I went to school with who were like engaging in behaviors that were yeah. like anorexic, bulimia and mm -hmm. stuff. So it's not a joking thing to joke about anyways, but yeah, I guess I just had to realize like, yeah, and I didn't develop or anything. I was like super flat till I was like 18 and then all of a sudden it was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and like, hello there, hello. And like, yeah. yeah. Like voluptuous and graduated and from kindergarten <laughs> to high school. <laughs> exactly. So it's just sort of funny. And then, yeah, seeing like guys that you used to go to the school yeah, with and they're like, hey, like the, Erica's that like the you? Jenny Jones, like, I was a geek in school, but I'm hot now. Yeah. Exactly. And I want to ask you out. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So I guess just becoming, um, better with myself and knowing that it wasn't something like I was healthy and it wasn't something that I could change or do anything about so I just had to be happy with who I was and at the time TLC was out so I used to wear like a lot of baggy clothes and yeah. stuff like yeah so that made me feel a little bit better too yeah so, yeah how about you me yeah I think well not too many like insecurities I think like you said, growing up, I was always like super skinny and in shape because um, I was like active, right? So mm -hmm. I played sports, danced, gymnastics. Right. Um, and I didn't really have any serious issues. I think for me, the big one would be like when I was a teenager, I started getting acne. And um, yeah, with the acne, um, you know, then I started wearing cover up. And I was always just self-conscious about it right? Um, because like I wanted perfect skin. But then of course, when you start to realize the reality of it, that nobody's really got perfect skin. And if you do, like it's just a blessing and it's usually genetic. 
Um, and even now, like even now I get really bad, like hormonal breakouts, especially when it's that time. Right. And it's just something that I can't even control. You know what I mean? It's just something that I've just kind of learned how to deal with it. I've tried changing my diet. I've tried taking vitamins for it. Um, like the thing that I found that worked for me, um, temporarily was like Accutane. Like I took it in my twenties and it worked because it just stopped the oil production. And it's not like I was eating super greasy food all the time. It wasn't that I wasn't washing my face because when you have acne or skin problems, you're a little bit more like anal about washing your face and you're a little bit more, you, you take more steps to make sure right. that, um, you, your face is clean so that it can stay clear right um but other than that like i think that would be my biggest thing is just like even now that i kind of deal with um and it makes sense because of my hormonal imbalance with pcos it everything makes sense right but i mean that's just you know physical like it doesn't really matter i mean you can cover it up you can go get laser whatever it's just how you feel about it right. and now it's like yeah if i do have a breakout and i step out you know to go get groceries I don't really care if I have a face full of blemish I just don't give a shit, a shit <laughs> like I used to you know it's not like I don't really care who sees me I'm just comfortable now and it's just you know it's just the way it is right so that would be like my biggest insecurity is just like you know wishing that I had like perfect skin um and just no pimples at all ever right um but of course that's not <laughs> realistic for me and my crazy uh, hormonal imbalance right now but I'm okay with it I've learned to live with it and then just yeah I mean the older I get um the weight um you know where it, I'm a few pounds heavier than I like to be but also at the same time like I've just realized that I've just grown comfortable and I love who I am and I'm confident that you know what well, yeah of course I do want to lose 10 or 15 pounds but I'm never going to be you know size zero or size two that I was in my 20s and right. even in my 20s I was like oh I need to lose five pounds oh and gosh, I was yeah. like oh, I'm crazy like I, I look I back now yeah I wish mom. I could slap myself and be like you were just fine but it, I wasn't overly crazy about it to be honest I didn't really have any body issues to be honest you know like I was just skinny and just whatever I wore I just wore it with confidence mm -hmm. I think I'm a little bit more self-conscious now because I'm older and I have you know, extra weight on me, but also it's like finding clothes that flatter you and fit your body type and just, yeah, less is more. <laughs> like for exactly. me, it's just, you know, feeling comfortable and just making sure that it's something that I look cute, but also I'm really comfortable in. So a lot has changed with wisdom, you know, with age comes wisdom and things that you carry, that you cared about 15, 20 years ago, it's completely different, right? Yeah. So. For sure. Um, yeah, I agree with you with the weight thing. Um, that is, I mean, I, I just want to be healthy, right? Mm -hmm. Like, so to me, it's also to, to show a good example to my daughters that, yeah, like to be comfortable in your skin, yeah. but at the same time, also you need to take care of yourself and not be, mm -hmm. you know, when, if the doctor is telling you that you have issues like that's yeah. a problem yeah and so like but if you decided you wanted to get in the best shape of your life and eat clean and work out like it's something that you definitely can do right yeah it's, so it's something you can do and I do realize there are some people who have like you said there's hormonal things that are going on out of their control right yeah, so thyroid it's issues gonna PCOS. be yeah it's gonna be a harder road and it's gonna be um a lot of discipline and a lot of trying probably a lot of different things but I mean I think as long as you're just you're trying and you're trying to to be you know good but there's I think there's some people who just want to use it as an excuse to us at the same time so what about self-confidence like how do you express that self-confidence um I think it's just you know using your personality or just enhancing like your favorite features on yourself whether it's like your eyes or your lips or your hair and just you know what i mean your personality and your confidence 
it goes hand in hand. So you need to take a look at yourself and instead of picking out all the flaws and you know, the things that you wish you could change, it's about like taking a look at yourself and saying like, what do I really love about myself? What makes me different? What makes me unique? And just working with that and playing right. that up. I think that is really what confidence and beauty is all about is just being comfortable in your own skin. Yeah. That's what it is. It's not wanting to be somebody else, but just being happy and content and just knowing that there's nobody out there like you, that there's yeah. one of you, right? Exactly. So, yeah, like I you're mean, rare. <laughs> you are rare. Everybody is, there's too many people who want to be carbon copies of others, but like you're an original and like, why would you want to be like someone else when you're born to stand out? So, yeah. What a girl wants. Um, and also, when you think about it, too, like, uh, I think I put one of these up on my Instagram, too. But, you know, God took the time to count every yeah. hair on your head. And, like, how awesome is it that God thought that the world needed you? Yeah. And he put you out there. So, yeah, everything. Just love yourself. God made you exactly the way that he envisioned you. How, like... In, your, in his eyes, you're perfect. He created everything about you, like your hair color, your skin color, your eye color, just everything. Your birthmark, your beauty mark, like, it's just so amazing. And then when you look and appreciate all kinds of beauty, there's just not one, you know, standard book of beauty that fits everybody. Everybody's just so different and unique and just beautiful in their own way, right? Yeah, for sure. And I find, to be honest, the people who are physically the most appealing to your eyes have, and, and people have, who have had plastic surgery and got stuff done, mm -hmm. they're the ones that are the most insecure inside. And there's lots of issues going on there because they never, they see, you know, they feel like they're never good enough, that they never look perfect enough, and they keep on trying to change things when they should be working on the inside instead of their physical appearance. Yeah. So I find the people, most of the people who are plastically enhanced or genetically enhanced, I should say, um, are the most insecure people, actually. And yeah, I mean, that's just, you're just trying to fill a void that you should be working on inside instead of the outside, right? Because you, you're so worried about what people think about you and you want your face to be perfect, your nose to be perfect, you want your lips to be full. It's just like constant comparing and you're never going to be happy you're never you're always going to get stuff done if you think that way yeah right so that's true and it's like even before like I would say um I was like you know of course because I love Brittany and Christina and stuff like that so in my <laughs> young adult time when I was out clubbing I like you know, had fun with my hair color and wore contacts. I bleached my hair. And it wasn't that like I didn't want to be Asian or that I wasn't proud of my heritage or who I was. I just I was wanted just... to look like a pop star and experiment with different looks and whatever was in style. Right. You know, and it wasn't like, oh, I'm trying to be white. It's that wasn't the case. Even though I love Barbie, I never really thought of it that way that like blonde hair, blue eyes, or like when the dolls came out and there was like, you know, Asian and like Mm -hmm. colored dolls yeah. I you know I just played with her but also yeah now like that I'm older of course like my style and certain things have changed it's just too much maintenance to bleach my hair and wear colored contacts all the time it was just you like know damages exactly and that was just something I did back in the day that I don't regret because hey I've always loved fashion you can't say that I was never in fashion yeah exactly. you know low hip huggers glitter on my belly like shimmery one shirts like yep. good old times but oh my gosh I would shoot myself if I wore that again oh my gosh right yeah you um yeah I agree I do like just knowing your style knowing who you are like even doing this show like we have different styles and not like comparing or wanting to be you know of course there's certain things that yeah like we were we talking have. about like usually for episodes we color coordinate right um but for this one because it's about beauty and what makes us feel beautiful i just said like why don't we just wear what you know makes us feel beautiful and confident and just showcase our own style yeah right Exactly. So that's just what we're trying to show here. I mean, obviously, you guys can tell that me and Erica have two really different style. Um, 
Erica is a little bit more bohemian, mm -hmm. gypsy. Yeah. Um, and then I'm a little bit more girly and. Yeah. But then like, sometimes okay. I switch it up and I have like yeah. those days where I wear like girly dresses and, and stuff. And like, so I don't know. It's just, there's just certain things that I like. I can't even really put myself in a category, but yeah, I don't know. There's just certain things and I, I don't know. I don't really do fads anymore. Like, yeah, I just know what I like looks what, good on me. I like what I like. I mean, if it, something is trending or in style, but I really like, and I know that when it goes out of trend, is it something that I'm going to wear like five years from now? Exactly. Yes. Then I'm going to get it. Exactly. I mix and match my pieces. I mean, I have stuff from like, you know what I mean? five years ago, but I also have new stuff that I've added right. that I really love, right? So. Ex exactly. Yeah. So I think that's what it is. Just yeah, being confident in the skin you're in, not trying to be somebody else or whatever, just doing what feels good to you. That's mm -hmm. self-confidence to me. Yeah. yeah. Um, and now we're just going to talk about what makes somebody beautiful. So what are the qualities that you notice that make somebody's just so beautiful and stunning to you? Um, I definitely say, yeah, like having that self-confidence, but that kindness and the compassion mm -hmm. for others, like there's nothing more gorgeous than that to me. Somebody who has a sense of humor and like we said earlier like preferably a kind of naughty dirty sense of humor <laughs> i love people who are sarcastic like yeah witty sir like those kind of people or just can come up with like my brother cracks me up all the time i would have to say like he is one of the funniest people i know and um yeah just people who are themselves and they they're not trying to mm -hmm. make you feel bad with through there are they're just authentically them mm -hmm. how about you yeah I think it's the same thing I think it's all in how you treat somebody and how genuine and sweet you are without being fake um, yeah because I think somebody who shows that they have a good heart and that they're always thinking about others and they're you know giving and kind and compassionate um, that just makes somebody just so, so beautiful. And the more you get to know them, the more beautiful they are to you. And they may not physically, you know, be what you think or what everybody thinks is the perfect standard of being physically beautiful. But, um, yeah, it's just all in their personality, I think, and how they carry themselves, how they treat people and the people around them. Right. It's more like I like to read people's auras and you vibes. know exactly people's auras and their vibes and like you know sometimes when you meet somebody and you don't get a good feeling mm -hmm. from them right away or they don't like you and they don't know you it's like you know like you irritate like their inner demons <laughs> and they yeah. just like have a thing out for you oh my god you know it's just lots of insecurity and cattiness and jealousy and it's just like stay away from me please and right? you and i I say we're always on the same page. Yeah, yeah, we're on the same page, and I would say out of all of our friends, like we're the ones who we look at each other after, like you know, mm -hmm. we meet somebody new, and we just we we just know we're just on the same page. Yeah, yeah, we're the most intuitive when it comes to that, and I don't know. I well, know I think, the... and that's why we're doing the show together because yeah. we're on the same page on a lot of things where opinions won't differ too much right exactly so. yeah but I feel like people have made me try to make me feel bad about having vibes about people and know like you should give them a chance and it's like every time I've done that then it comes and it bites me in the ass so yeah and I've always said like respect isn't just freely given it's earned you have to earn my respect and my loyalty if I meet you and you're nice to me I'm nice to you but respect and loyalty are two different things exactly so and like not everybody gets along so I don't know there's some people who just think everybody's going to get along la di da but no, it's not not, a, not in the real world. No. So, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like on the same page. Very point much. Like. Yeah. On point like, yes. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to talk about like what is real beauty? 
Like, what is real beauty to you? Um, real beauty, like, fashion-wise, or like, do you... who do you like? For you, like, who do you think is like the most beautiful woman in the world? If you could, if you had like a celebrity, you know, person that you thought was like beautiful. Um, celebrity. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think who. I think is really gorgeous. Um, I'm loving Issa Rae right now. Um, she does this show called Insecure on HBO. Yeah. And she had like a a show like it was called um, The Adventures of Awkward Black Girl. Yeah. And I don't know. I just love her. She's freaking hilarious. Yeah. She always like in the show like always has different hairstyles like different makeup looks and like she'll in the show she like she'll be upset or whatever and then it's like she's rapping to herself and like yeah. giving like yeah or like she'll see in her head different scenes like of what she wants to say to someone and then it comes back and it's like she didn't she's just like yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's but hilarious. I just, I think she's gorgeous and I think she's just such a, I just think it's cool because it's, she just got nominated for an Emmy too. So that's like historic too. And nice. I don't know. I just, yeah. And I just think she seems like she'd be a cool person to hang out with too. Yeah. Um, for me, I think like who I think is beautiful naturally and like done up. Um, <laughs> she's a supermodel. Uh, Miranda Kerr mm -hmm. for me she's so stunning like of course I loved her on Victoria's Secret but I think also because um, she's got a baby face like me mm -hmm. and so I kind of like relate to her in that way and like she's could be sexy but then she can be really cute as well mm -hmm. and she's just very classy right and right. I, I just think she's just so beautiful like for me I think that is like the perfect woman <laughs> yeah so yeah that for me like for me true beauty is like obviously just being unique being your rare self and just appreciating you know your own features and just finding good things about yourself that you love and finding features and you know your friends or your family that you love about them right right so real beauty just obviously comes from the inside but also just appreciating what you have as well yeah right and i would just say like Obviously, I think my mom and I love all my like aunts too. Like all of them are unique and different. And um, right. so, anyways, we hope you enjoyed this episode about beauty. We hope that you find the beauty in yourself if you're still struggling with that. Um, and if you're just confident and you love who you are, that's great. Props to you. Anyways, we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. God bless. Keep me speaking. Point blank. Please believe me. We mean it. Point blank, if you watch us, you see it. Yeah. Point blank, of the Lord Almighty, point blank. Okay. Okay. Cut. We're done. Yep. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sweating balls right now. Are like, you? these lights are so hot. They are, yeah. And, like, my fat head. <laughs> my fat head on this hat. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> I'm thirsty. Expectations, right? Oh, <laughs>